class is going on. This is the class that's going to be about the approach with Professor D. Yours truly. Alright, y'all. Time to attendance. Bro, call Andre. Here. Chelsea. Here. Call Ray. Here. Jalen. Here. Jamon. Jamon. Here. All right. Let's get to it. Man, what should I think of? First time I saw an angel was you. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Fuck this class, bro. We should leave. Shit, <laughs> ain't got anything else to do. Fuck it. 75 free tweets. Ooh. Like there, like here, favorite dip, share. Ooh, sliding her DMs for sure. Sophie! No, okay, back to this, back to the task. All right, back to the task. What's the class been about? Good this class for the weirdos, man. Everybody think I'm nervous. I can speak when I need to. I can get girls, you know what I'm saying? She think I'm cool. Hey, uh, oh, mm. Oh, that's cool, that's cool. She just hating. I'm still that though. Yeah. Bruh, is he for real? This, he playing. Hey, hey, none of these dudes. What? I see. Mm. I can't stand this class. I know how to approach. <laughs> Shit. All right, class. So today we're gonna be discussing the types of approaches. Can anyone tell me what the first one, a player slash f boy, is? The teacher thinks I'm a fuck boy. Nah. Just the other day. Yeah, yeah, he's dope. He's really cool. Yeah, he's actually really cool. Where the ladies at? Yeah. Where the ladies at? Yeah. Where the ladies at? Where the ladies at? Where the ladies at? Check it out. Check it out. Where the ladies at? Where the ladies at? Where the ladies at? Yeah. Where the ladies at? Where the ladies at? All right, so Minute Maid over here had all the juice, but what he really needed was the sauce. We'll get back to that later, though. Where he messed up in this scene is when he treated the game like a business. All right, y'all still get it down with what a player such an F boy is. Can you all tell me what a third party approach type is? Anyway. Third party who? <laughs> what? <laughs> He ain't nervous at all. All the confidence talks to any girl. <laughs> right? Any girl he wants is nothing. Just the other day, homeboy talked to this one chick. Tell that cute last year girl over there that she fire. <laughs> Yeah, no, no, don't tell me. No, no, tell me. No, mm. 
lay it on me. What she say? She says you look like a cabbage patch. Uh -huh. That's what she said. Boy! <laughs> <laughs> like, like the doll baby? Yeah. Like the round head? I mean, chocolate. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That could... What? I'll see y'all later. All right, man. All right. You try. You try. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's talk about Chocolate Cabbage Patch over here. Oh. Now, even though he may have the look of confidence and everything that he needs in order to get the girl, he still doesn't have the confidence. It's not there. He's still relying on another party, and that's not the way to get the girl. All right, y'all, let's get the ball rolling. Next one is... One second. Oh, damn it. Sorry, y'all. Y'all know it's an emergency. My niece trying to face chat me or something right now. Gosh darn that. Y'all know how to use social media, video? It's an approach now, come on. Give me a second, you hold on, hold on. Smiley face emoji, boom, there you go. We put it on snap, snap live, get the daily snap, and here we go. Oh yeah, mm-hmm, yeah, we fine. We let, baby, we let, mm, all the angles up on that. So yeah, this teacher was just telling me that I only use social media to get girls. That is not true, y'all, okay, it's not true. Yeah, just the other day, I liked all these girls' pictures, slid in her DMs, and it was successful. Let me tell you, successful. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, let me tell you what I did. Here what I did. So, Corey thought he was pretty swift with his little social media pull up, but that wasn't the way. Sometimes it could work, it's pretty 50 50, but he came in a little strong when he did it. That's why he failed. So, it looks like y'all know how to use that uh, face chat and Insta book and all that good stuff. So, the next one we're gonna talk about the, what? Wait a minute. What? the cheesy approach. Um, Andre, you got enough to share with the class. You, you say you got enough to share with the class? Oh yeah, you clean that up when you're done. Snapchat. We gotta get this broken. Damn. Can you do that? Damn. Damn. You hit my chips. I spent a dollar fifty on them chips. You know what? Just real cheesy. Speaking of cheesy, those lines, the lines that I spew, they're not cheesy. They're crisp, bunch of flavor. Like just the other day, I holla at this girl. She wanted me. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Alright, so Mr. Outfit over here, let's face it, 
Some girls, they just lactose intolerant when it comes to these cheese pickup lines, and this girl happened to be one of them. Now all the other approaches have their perks, but the best approach is confidence. Let me show you how that works. Shut it up! As I was saying, confidence. Let's get into it. All right, so let's wrap it up. What we learned today. There's Corey, there's Chocolate Cabbage Patch. They both have their different approaches, and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it's all about how you approach the female and like what you have to offer when you're talking. The approaches they had, it could have worked, just wasn't the right girl. And there was Andre. Andre with the cheesy pickup lines. Like I said, some girls lactose and talk with that kind of thing. It just means that she's not the one. She doesn't think it's cute. Okay, some other girl does. Keep it pushing. Then there's Jalen, old Mr. Minute Maid. The one that had all the juice, like I said earlier. Let's talk about that. Juice versus sauce. When you think about juice, you think about things like Tropicana, Minute Maid, and Fruit Punch. But how long does that really last in the fridge? Like two days? Let me ask you. Ragged, pregnant. How long you find that in your cabinet? Two years? Shoot, that ain't nothing. What I'm trying to say is, sauce outlasts juice. But the approach that I find to be best is confidence. Let me show you how it's done. Hi there. Hi. How are you doing? Good, how are you doing? Doing pretty good. I didn't say it, what's your name? Yeah. All right, so first thing that you're looking at here is get a little confident. Don't talk to her from across the room. Don't get up in her face either. Have a conversation with her. She might enjoy it. All right, so I'm gonna keep it brief. I wasn't trying to pressure nothing, but I was really feeling you from across the way. So I was thinking, here's where we want to be straight up about it. Now the cheese lines, they work from time to time. Be around the bush, not always the way to go. Alright, so I'm thinking, are you doing anything this weekend? No, I'm not. Alright, I'm hoping that we can get together, get some lunch or something. What are you thinking? That sounds good. Alright, let's make it solid. Let me get your number real quick. This is where I'm trying to make long-term goals, not short-term moves. Thank you. I feel like I just hit the for the first time. You make my life right because you shine. It's me and you, baby. This whole approach thing, fake. He don't know what he's talking about. None of these dudes got game. Like, just talk to me, you know? You ever thought of that? Just talk to the girl? I'm not saying that. All I want to do. So, social media, David Amukuku. Alright, y'all, let's get the ball rolling. Do it again. All the other approaches have their perks, but the best approach is confidence. Let me show you how that goes. Am I supposed to get up? Go ahead and redo it. Go ahead. 
All right, what's going on? Am I still in the shot from here? <laughs> Did I still have a look? Matter of fact, we can move it over here. All right, class. This is a class for... Oh, fuck, my angle. <laughs> I forgot how light it was. <laughs> yeah. Running that so hard. 